Assalamualaikum and hi, we are from Group Boomers and we are going to present about our food delivery services for our service websites. So, in this video, we are going to cover about the executive summary, introduction, problem statement, objective, methodology, UI designs of our service websites, testing, evaluation, and the conclusions for the food service website that we name it as Katie's Food Services. I'm going to talk about the executive summary. So for the executive summary, Throughout the global COVID-19 2020 epidemic, the benefits of online food services became obvious, which encouraged consumers' access to packaged foods and permitted food suppliers to continue to work. The main problems that our group has identified with food delivery services are the demand of the food delivery during COVID-19 pandemic more increasing before the pandemic as consumers self-isolate and restaurants close down. Since millions of citizens are already being called upon to remain at home in order to mitigate the global health problem, the online food delivery website has become a big player in this year 2020. Based on our research, we have decided to build a website for food delivery that we name it as Katie's Food Service. Hence, the objectives of our project is to customize our food delivery service websites according to local demands, create a helpful innovative features and mobile-friendly website to make it easier for users to assess and identify that alternate sources or revenue are enough for customers during pandemic session. For our field methodology, we're using agile methodology that come up with requirements, plan, design, development and also review of our food delivery service websites to increase the speed of development process. We also provide our user interface design website, use case diagram and activity diagram to show the procedures of our project in making food delivery websites. Moreover, there are several methods that our team will conduct in testing our web application to ensure the websites will, will run smoothly and to maintain the quality of the websites. The methods are compatible compatibility, performance, security, usability, and functionality testing. Last but not least, formative process outcome, impact, and summative evaluation also included in this, pap in this paper because it's important to help us find ways in developed website and eventually lead to more effectively achieving our objectives. Next is the introduction of our food delivery service. The meaning of food delivery website is the online platform that have been used by users in purchasing their food. Nowadays, more option and accessibility online outlets for food ordering transformed the way we purchase and eat food. A number of technical and technological advances that are completely applied have paved the way to place orders for purchase with a single button press of the cell phone whether we want to purchase the daily food delivery, a lunch kit, or hot lunch ready food. Moreover, consumers can order and purchase food from food service website because it's provide the online menu catalog where consumers can buy simply if they wish. Online consumers can manage orders conveniently with the menu items too. The administration also manages the data base with a view to enhancing the quality of food delivery for the customers. The service website considers both the client restaurants and the tracking facility. By using the service websites, customer can easily update their detail information. The systems proposed also provides consumers with choice to purchase from restaurants or food stall. It also provides food offers suggestions to buyers from restaurants or food stalls that are published every day. There is no constraint on the number of orders the consumer desires in the proposed system. It is designed to prevent fatal accidents and illegal intervention from being taken by consumers. The complexity of the proposed structure is justified when people migrate to various cities in vast numbers so that a wide variety of persons will access the system. The users can access the interface systems to register and fill the main aspects such name, address, email, identifier, telephone number, and vice versa. Output would include customer orders, pricing, reviews, and payments method either through cash on delivery, online banking, or QR code. 
Next is the explanation why we choose these food delivery services. Because it has been one way to prevent COVID-19. During this pandemic COVID-19, the virus spreading so fast, mostly in crowd places. The crowd places mostly place that people love to go and eat. In order to prevent the virus from spreading, we can use this opportunity to buy food using delivery service websites. By using food service websites, we can help our country to decrease number of cases of COVID-19 that happen in Malaysia. The problem that our group has identified with food delivery services are the demand of food delivery during COVID-19 pandemic increasing before the pandemic as customers self-isolate and restaurants close down. Next, problem is customers don't engage with restaurants brand. When third-party apps control the process, they don't just take a cut of profits but also take all of customers' data. We move on to objective. There are three objectives for our project, which are to customize our services according to local demands. Next is to create mobile-friendly websites for users to assess that includes helpful and innovative features. And lastly, to make sure alternate resources or revenue are enough for customers during this pandemic season. And I'm going to talk about why we chose Agile methodology for our project. Agile is a wonderful methodology because it's fast, responsive, and flexible to changes that might come. For example, like if there was any bug that happens while undergoing development or during implementation of the project, we can find the problem at, as fast as possible. Next is that Agile is more more visible towards the people because they can see how we do it. Like, um, we cooperate more with the subject and the customers to make our systems better. Then, Agile is also good for team management because it's quite efficient and effective for our project pacing. As you can see, the difference between Agile and traditional waterfall is that Agile, you can change whatever you want during or after the implementation stage and also when it's ongoing development. Whilst waterfall, you can't do that. Okay, and next is Agile lets us to be more aware of our system easily compared to a traditional method. Now we talk about our UI designs. We choose a simple template for easy access for user and the design is also categorized food into breakfast, lunch and dinner. We use online payment for our design. So there is add-on choice for our food. There also We also created a simple way for users to contact us via email or calls if needed. And the last one is we focus on the display section where we show our food in the gallery tab. The detail of our websites will be explained by Jason. Welcome to Katie's Food Service. This is our design website. The I went with the Katie's Food Service is the name of our service because everybody loves cat and why not? Cats are the most lovable animal in the world. And as you can see in the home page, you can see the foods being uh, displayed as banners over here, strips of banners. Then under it, you can see the about us, about our food rest food services then below here you can see that we have links for social medias Facebook Twitter and Instagram this button as you can see is a button for chat chat bubbles that when you click it you can chat with the our staff so that they will respond immediately to you Now, let me show you the 
profile button what happens when you click it when you click the profile button it will brings you into the sign up page so you need to sign up for your data to be able to receive the order okay let's go back so from here we go towards the gallery inside the gallery we can see abundance of food being showcased here for all our customers this is all the food that we serve inside our service and let's go to the, to the contacts in the contacts when we first go into it you will see that this is our contact info over here then in this box you have to fill in your details and enter your message so that we will be able to respond to you personally with your emails if you don't like to use the chat all the time and it's much better if you want something personal so let's move on towards the online shopping in the online shopping you can see the very basic design of our UI there's you can see the profile for our user so right now we are not logged in so we are designated as a guest then you can see there's a basic food menu over here like breakfast lunch dinner and beverage for now there's only a few selection of food to enjoy in this section you can choose however you want your meal to be prepared like when i click this nasi goreng sambal i can add up how many quantity do i want like one two three so then i can edit into my order so let's say i order for three for three people then boom it appears over here so right now the total is 18 ringgit from six ringgit each it's quite expensive well not really but when you have your meal over here in your order you can immediately have a special request or you can just like order it normal then inside here you can see your order all the details so subtotal is 18 then in this area is where you put your location where people will be able to send the food goods to you immediately i almost forgot to say this in our home page you can see the below the about us there's a button called shop so when you click shop it will bring you into the online shopping page online ordering page sorry so as you can see it's a very simple design where it will not confuse everyone and even if you're first time using computer you can still use it okay now let's talk about testing testing our website is very crucial as website can face several issues such as broken links um, search function not operational, images not loading, and form not submitting properly. Besides, it helps to test and monitor the performance of website. There are several methods that our team conduct in testing our web application in ensure the website will run smoothly and to maintain the quality of the website. Those methods are to aim to solve any problems that will rise later. The testing methods are okay first compatibility testing which is to offer a smooth browsing experience we test on different browsers such as Google Chrome Microsoft Internet Explorer and Apple Safari next we do performance testing which is to check how the system is holding up in various conditions we conduct stress and load testing to test our website stability under heavy load conditions. Next is security testing to find out the weak links. 
we test our website for threat exposure and we validate website URL management and also we validate website for password cracking. Next is user, usability testing, uh, which is to ensure maximum user experience. We validate the use of user-friendly and meaningful keywords. We validate the correct usage of buttons and links for easy navigation. We validate navigation system is easy to understand for the users and also in case of internal link breakage, the proper error message should be displayed. Last but not least, we do functionality testing which is to check the specification and requirement. We validate the database for effective data processing. We validate that there are no broken links generated in website. We validate that internal links are appropriately linked to anticipated pages of websites. And lastly, we ensure the required and optional fields are properly handled. And I will continue to evaluation. The first evaluation is formative evaluation. We use these strategies to help catch any bugs or gaps early on in order to ensure that our website program meets the needs of the intended audience before it is completely introduced. It is also providing our designer and developers with information about how to modify the website to obtain the desired result. Second evaluation is process evaluation. Throughout the duration of the development program, we perform this evaluation periodically to resolve any potential inefficiencies to our website in order to ensure the website is efficient and effective for users. This evaluation focuses on how a program actually functions and assess its features, functionalities and activities. Third evaluation is outcome evaluation. We use this evaluation to measure on how much our website has affected our target population such as any small food stall or restaurant and to determine clearly the quality of services given by our website. It helps our website administrator to reassure if our website meets its objective and goals. Third evaluation is impact. This evaluation covered the long-term impact which evaluates the impact to measuring sustained changes brought by the website we implement. We can assess our website effectiveness in achieving its ultimate business goal and to determine the direct impact on the business performance to ensure website following the current circulation. The last evaluation is summative evaluation. From this evaluation, we can generate data about our website performance and how this website delivered benefits to our target population. So, for the conclusion, the ongoing pandemic scare means we are all staying indoors and minimizing social contact as advised by the government and health authorities. In such a scenario, getting food is fraught with issues. Venturing out means potentially spreading or catching the coronavirus. People are shifting to delivery apps for everything from groceries to takeout. In such a scenario, the hygiene and safety practices in the pick-up and delivery system become important in order to safeguard both workers and consumers. Our project is to aim to create two helpful, innovative features and mobile-friendly website to make it easier for users to access. We believe that the only way to increase the business profit and customer satisfaction is improve the current situation and propose the new function. Besides our project, identifies alternate sources or revenue is enough for customers during pandemic season. Our team solely believe that the initiation of this project will bring a lot of benefits in the future, which will increase the revenue and will increase the customer satisfaction to who are using our website application as their platform. Thank you. Assalamualaikum.